So this video is uh, potentially very embarrassing, but seeing as I do share a lot of things with you guys, I figure why not just talk about all of the weird ass crushes I had when I was a little kid. Because I had crushes on everybody, let's be real, I still kind of do too, but also like not normal teenage girl crushes. I did of course love JTT, I loved him. I also love Justin Timberlake. Those were the two crushes that like everybody had during that time, but I also had some like really, really weird ones. So this was kind of a strange introduction to this video, but I'm gonna talk about <laughs> my bizarre childhood crushes. And I hope you guys had bizarre childhood crushes too, so I don't feel like a total idiot making this video. So my first strange childhood crush is Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters. I actually still have like a massive crush on him, but for like, and we're just gonna say uh, between the ages of like seven and 12 during this range, for a girl that age to be like head over heels in love with the lead singer of the Foo Fighters, is kind of weird, especially like Dave Grohl from the Big Me video where he has those terrible pigtails. Why did, like why, why, what, well, I don't understand. He's way hotter now than he was back in the 90s. I think he has um, gotten better with age, so I'm not that embarrassed by that crush, but I do think it's kind of weird you know, when everybody's into Backstreet Boys and all that stuff, and I was too for the most part. Dave Grohl was one that I just like gravitated to. Don't ask me why. My next super weird childhood crush, are you guys ready for this one? This is insane, and whenever I admit this to people, they're like, huh. But I had a crush on Dan Aykroyd, the actor from SNL. More specifically, I had a crush on Dan Aykroyd as Elwood Blues from the Blues Brothers. I actually still have a Blues Brothers picture on the wall over here because Chad is also a huge fan. I don't know why and I was probably far too young to be watching the Blues Brothers movie but I loved it and I had such a crush on Elwood. I thought he was so cool. I mean I still think he's cool and I would crush on him now today but again like as a child that's who you pick. Alright Jess. My next super weird childhood crush is okay I gotta preface this by saying I had a TV in my room and it only had like a certain amount of channels so I would watch a lot of old TV shows that they played on one of the channels and uh, they happen to play the monkeys a lot so I watched a lot of the monkeys which means I developed quite a crush on the monkeys Nikki Dolans and Davy Jones are the ones that like the most that most people had crushes on I feel like and they were the most popular monkeys um, I was really into Mike Nesmith and Peter Tork. They were my favorite monkeys and I had such a crush on the like 1960s version of them of course because at that time they were I would say at least 50 year old men? I don't know. Math is hard. I really liked them. I don't know why. Uh, they made me laugh. I thought they were really cute and goofy and I watched them every day and so I developed a crush on Mike Nesmith and Peter Tork. People say we monkey you around. Here's the part where she admits she had a crush on a cartoon character. Actually there were a couple. So you guys know my favorite Disney movie is Robin Hood and I watched it all the time when I was a kid. I love the music, I love the voices, and I feel like the voice acting in Robin Hood is like phenomenal. And it just really has that like old school Disney vibe that is my favorite. And one of the biggest reasons I watched Robin Hood so much is because I had a crush on Robin Hood. The fox. The cartoon fox. He's just so damn charming and he loves Marianne so much. He's just so romantic and charismatic and awesome and he gets away with all kinds of stuff. And I really responded to that as a child and I still do. I'm uh, completely ashamed to admit. So uh, my first cartoon crush is Robin Hood. Ooh, to the lonely. While we're on the subject of having the hots for cartoon characters, do you guys remember Daria on MTV? Well, I had a major crush on 
Jane's brother Trent from Daria. And the dark hair and the goatee and this very like alternative sort of like grungy emo before emo was that much of a thing sort of look and I just thought he was a fox. So just like Daria did in the show I had a big old crush on Trent. I feel like a lot of people had a crush on Trent. Anybody? My next weird childhood crush, now that I'm thinking about it, looks exactly like Trent. I almost wonder if they like took the picture of him and then just made him a cartoon because it's Jacob Dylan from The Wallflowers. He's Bob Dylan's son. Um, I have no earthly idea what he looks like now. I'm going to have to, I'm going to Google him when I am finished filming this because I'm curious to see how he aged. He had these beautiful blue eyes and he had the dark hair and that kind of like voice <laughs> and I, oh I had so much love for him. He was a total dreamboat and I had like a huge crush on him and I feel like you never hear about him or the wallflowers anymore. Whatever happened there? What happened there? A serious googling when I'm done with this. And my last childhood crush, probably the most intense one that I had, was on Jimmy Fallon. I was a huge fan of Saturday Night Live. I still am, but when I was a kid, I wouldn't be able to stay up that late to watch it. So I would record the show on the VCR and then watch it the next day. So I had tapes and tapes and tapes of Saturday Night Live episodes and I could just watch them over and over again. And when I did that, I fell head over heels in love for Jimmy Fallon. And this was serious. This was a serious, serious crush. I remember, I don't even know how I bought this on eBay, like with what money? How did I, how did I pay for this? I don't know. But one of the first things I ever bought on eBay was a poster that was Jimmy Fallon's Calvin Klein ad where he's just like laying there in his jeans uh, being adorable. Then I had a picture frame next to my bed, it had room for multiple pictures in it, and I had cut out pictures of Jimmy Fallon and Horatio Sands like goofing around on set at SNL and <laughs> I put them in the picture frame and they were like next to my bed. So I'm like sleeping with like Calvin Klein, Jimmy Fallon like, looking down on me. <laughs> <laughs> and then a free picture of him on my nightstand. What is wrong with me? I do, I still love Jimmy Fallon. I think he's adorable. I think he's so fun and funny. But I legit thought like we were going to be married by this time. <laughs> like I really, I really did. I had such a crush. This is ridiculous. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what your weird childhood crushes are. I know you have them. I know you have them and I told you, so now you gotta tell me. This is, we made this pact when you started watching this video. You know this, but we made a pact. So leave a comment and spill your tea. With that being said, I am off. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you'd like to keep hanging out and I will see you tomorrow with a hopefully less embarrassing video.